Hi there, just going to take us for a walk around this BMW i3s. Uh, I love an i3s, always been my long term favourite EV. Uh, nothing drives quite like it. For the job of like being a car and darting around town, yeah, there is simply no better EV in my opinion, or no better car in general, actually, I should say. Um, it's the 120 amp hour model, so it's got a 42 kilowatt hour battery, giving this somewhere in the region sort of 180 to maybe even as much as sort of 200 miles worth of driving range, depending on the time of year and your preferred style of driving. Uh, it's nice and new on a 71 plate, it's got 16,000 miles on the clock, so low miles as well. That's the uh, MOT, that's not due till the end of July 2025. It's going to have a fresh service, so yeah, that's. Um, that won't be due until August 2025. Uh, looks really nice in the white, I think, the i3. Um, it's actually always been my favourite kind of colour combination, always referred to as the Stormtrooper. And I think with the i3s, with the black alloys, um, it looks stunning. Uh, it's also in really good condition as well, but I'm going to go around the car now and I'll just quickly point out any little marks there are. There's a couple of little marks, but I'll point those out as I go. Striking looking car, super modern. There's a few little scratches on the boot sill. I mean, there's always scratches on boot sills of the i3s, to be honest. Um, I think it's paint on plastic and it's the same load height as the boot. Um, that's actually pretty good um, compared to most, but obviously, there's a few little light scratches on there. As we move around to the bonnet and the bumper there, they will be uh, stone chipper too. It normally it's on the i3, so the black bonnet shows them. Lovely, it's a little bit of chipping. There's a few little chips, but nothing noteworthy or untowards at all. So, I mean, overall, you can have to say it's a very good condition car. It's nice inside too. We've got a, quite an expensive upgrade. This is what they call the, the lodge interior. So yes, half leather, half fabric. You know, it's nice and light, but not too pale. Obviously, get a nice infotainment system in the i3, uh, reversing camera system, electronic handbrake, inbuilt sat nav, cruise control, speed limiter, plenty of room in the back as well. Nice, comfy, comfy, spacious seating for four people. Even though it's a nice compact car. As you can see, nice condition inside. Open the boot. Yeah, boot's open. Decent sized boot. Um, you know, for such a compact car, I mean, it's the right size for daily usage, but you know, if you need something with a bit more load space, you fold those seats down. And you've got a big, voluminous, almost estate like load space. Uh, and I've got friends who've got one of these as well. They've got sucker pad sort of um, roof bars on, so you put a roof box on, they even go camping in there. So. So yeah, a really, really good car. I, I, I love an i3s. I really do. Um, in that boot, we'll be putting a three-pin charging lead, like we do with all our cars. So this car's going to come supply with a lead that you can plug into a normal main socket, so you can charge it from that. So you don't necessarily need to get a charge point installed, at least not initially, anyway. And if you do want a charge point, um, just let us know, and we can get that arranged for you as well, just to keep your life nice and simple. And there you go. If you're after an i3s, this is a lovely example. Conditions good, low miles, really nice kind of stylish kind of colour combination. Uh, but anyway, this car's here on the forecourt ready for a test drive or a viewing. Uh, alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch all our i3 and i3s content on our website and our YouTube channel. Hopefully you'll find those uh, videos useful and hopefully we'll speak to you soon.